hello guys how are you today so i have found this question this guy wants to like align mesh particles on surface basically on character so we will see how to do that with character animated character or a mesh like this so i have kind of already done this you can see so this character is animated if i play see so they are all aligned with the normals so let's see how i created this so i have this unreal engine project 5.4.3 so with the empty folder i have so first i need some meshes so i'll just open the blender you can use any 3d application like maya or 3ds max so i just use blender so i'll delete this step a to add mesh and i'll take this sphere it looks like uh, similar like here so let's try this then we will apply this also on character so i'll just export this as fbx on my desktop let's sphere okay and i'll delete it shift a again and i'll take a con and because the pivot is here although you can offset in uh, unreal engine but i'll go to left Press tab, select all, and G to grab, then Z, and I'll move it a little here, and tap again. So this is now up, and I'll export this also on my desktop. On. So I'll just close Blender. Let's import those meshes from the desktop on in Sphere. Or all and I'll make a material and color color sorry and I'll just take the particle color and just connect this here and here that's it I'll just close this save it that's it save all I'll just save these I don't want to save that map so first i'll just take a niagara i'll go empty fx and open this and here i will add a new emitter i'll take fountain my favorite emitter this ui is reset let me just go to and i let me just reset it I don't like this one and I want this here okay so this is what I like okay so I have this and I have this fountain so what I'll do first, this will be our sphere, and I don't want these all modules. I'll delete them. I'll take burst. I just want need one particle spawn once and leave forever. And this should be a mesh. So I'll take the mesh renderer and I'll click on this like this and to here, and then I want to use this material. So I will just use this enable override and i'll use that material here and then just add a basic color like this okay so you have this and if you open this it has 240 vertexes and triangles 80 so what i have to do next copy this emitter and i'll call them gone Sorry, and in this one this should be 80 so i'll make them 80 and first change the mesh i'll change the mesh and also change the color i'll go with maybe green okay so i want to spawn them on this sphere so let's take a static mesh location this one and then i'll choose that sphere here fix it and this cone too big 
I'll just reset these and make the mesh size maybe 0.1. So these are spawning on that. And these are randomly spawning. See, this area is empty. They are too many uh, overlapping. So what you can do, if you go to this static mesh location, here we have these triangles and random, taking the random triangles. Okay, so randomly distributing. Instead of this, you can go to direct and then here apply execution. So each triangle will take only one particles, right? and let's check them both together okay then we have to rotate them so you have to take initial mesh rotation and in the static mesh location there's an orientation that is applied just make that out i don't want to apply that then here go to vector and here correct if you type static you will find this parameter check this take this normal and just rotate 90 degree that's it but there's an issue each triangle has a cone but cone is not in the center of triangle so to fix that go to static mesh location turn this on and that's it so cool so first uh, this is what you can do and second we will see if you have a character and you have animated character so if i here we have so this is animated it's actually just breathing but yeah it is animated so i'll just drag this fx here so we have one this situation okay and if you want to scale that you can also do that if you want and now we will use this so what i'll do i'll duplicate my fx duplicate and i'll call that fx character apply let's save this map so it is also saved so i'll open this close this one now in this one i don't need this sphere i just need this cone instead of this static mesh location and i'll just reset this turn this off for now I'll take a skeleton mesh location and in this one if I click this control B here it is skeleton so I'll just choose that skeleton here so particle spawning on bone so if you go to the skeleton see it's by default taking the bone you can use the triangles okay and then you have to fix this so you have this cool and if i just drag this into the viewport and then i will make a make this child of the animation and choose the none okay so if i play they are taking position but they are not animating with it so you can see they are not going with the hand and they are too big so first thing i'll make the size maybe 0 0.03 uh, 0 0.04 and let's also change the color to maybe something red. Okay, so they are spawning on it, but uh, they are not facing the normal. So for that, what you can do, and the uh, first thing, they are not going with the animation. So to fix that, just drag it into the update or just copy it into the update. So now, if I'll show you, they are moving with the animation. We just have to fix it. The rotation so we were using the initial mesh rotation and we were connecting the normals here but you can drag it here so what you have to take you have to take the update mesh orientation after the skeleton mesh and choose here or into vector and connect it with the normal and then turn this on choose here none and this rotation will be same see fixed and one more thing, if you want to like assign each triangle because this character has too many triangles, so don't use here execution index. You just need to increase the spawn rate, maybe like 1000, just to showcase and make the size a little smaller. And you can also turn on the shadow if you want. So just search here 
शेडो टाफ शेडो कूल इफ यू वांट टू मेक द रैंडम हाइट यू कैन डू दैट सो दिस इज पॉइंट जीरो टू आई गो विद दिस पॉइंट जीरो टू पॉइंट जीरो टू पॉइंट जीरो टू and i'll just go random with the height only so some cone will be longer stressed cool so there's two things if you want the static mesh and if you want animated character you can align i have already covered this thing lots of time in my tutorials but not specific on this those are long tutorial maybe tough to find them So I hope this is it. You liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye bye.